I think my husband heard me choking today and acted like he was sleeping. Am I crazy for thinking he wanted me to? I took a bite of bread just as my toddler backed up and tripped over his toy. As I was picking up to comfort him, I managed to get the bite lodged in my throat and started choking. Just as my husband casually walks out of the bedroom, all tired looking, I managed to throw up and was able to breathe. He came into the living room to me gasping for air on the floor with white foam all over my chin. This has rabies. <laughs> <laughs> While I was gasping for air, he said something. Effing drug addicts. To clarify, before I was married, I used to do blow <laughs> when I would drink. My husband is Indian and he wouldn't allow that, so I stopped five years Years ago, it is fun, but I'm with the Indian. <laughs> I'll stop, I'll stop. I was the last one. I'll stop. Welcome back, people, to another episode. There's three of us here today. Hamza is unfortunately not joining us for this session of atypical advice. It's been a little while since we've done one of these, but you guys seem to love it when we do do it. So we're back again with a few Doo-doo. different stories. Doo-doo. Doo-doo. Yeah, we know who's inappropriate here. <laughs> <clears throat> all right let's just crack straight into this because people want to hear how bad our advice is so i found this really interesting story fascinating story i'm not sure you guys will have this much advice to be fair because it's a pretty open and closed cut uh open and closed case open and closed cut what am i talking about yeah, yeah. long story right. cut short <laughs> long story cut short exactly my favorite phrase <laughs> all right by 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 biden okay. okay joe biden all right I think my husband heard me choking today and acted like he was sleeping. Am I crazy for thinking he wanted me to die? Pretty salacious headline, right? (laughs) (laughs) Hold on. Hold on. I've not even started. Bro, Redditors, something's wrong in their head. By the way, this is like number one upvoted on all slash advice. So this is like, this is big. This is a big discussion right now. People need to know. Mm -hmm. (laughs) People need to know, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Today, I was watching my toddler while my husband slept with our baby. We live in a trailer in a trailer park that honestly we were lucky to get because a lot of people are moving here for work. Why are you laughing? Are you no, laughing? Wonder, no wonder he let a fucking choke, bro. <laughs> bro, when you, when you find out this guy's origins, you're going to crease. Oh, uh, right. shit. Origins. A... <laughs> yeah, bro. You... Uh, I took a bite of bread uh, just as my toddler backed up and tripped over his toy. As I was picking up to comfort him, I managed to get the bite lodged in my throat and started choking. For a long term, uh, sorry, for a long time, I first was yelling for my husband and then I could not get enough air for words. So I was just making noise as loud as I could between coughing and gagging. Not laughing, but for some reason, that's hilarious. Because <laughs> you, you, can we get a demonstration? <laughs> I'm good today. <laughs> what, you know? I'm good today. I've decided to be civilized today. <laughs> All right. Finally, I couldn't even make any noise and I was just <laughs> coughing and gagging. <laughs> okay. Just as my husband casually walks out of the bedroom, all tired looking, I managed to throw up and was able to breathe. <laughs> oh, great. That timing's perfect. You could have Crazy. fucking done that two seconds ago. <laughs> he, came, he, came, he came into the living room. Uh, he came into the living room to me, gasping for air on the floor with white foam all over my chin. He just walked over and said, What, what oh, happened? This bitch has rabies. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, He just walked over and said, What happened? I was sleeping. He didn't look concerned at all. Just stood there staring at me. I told him I was choking, almost died. While I was gasping for air, he said something. Effing drug addicts. To clarify, before Yo. I was married. Yeah, <laughs> 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 <That's laughs> you me off, bro. This all happened on. from bread. <laughs> 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 it gets better. It gets this hope is 50 50. Bro, bro, it gets better, bro. To clarify, before I was married, I used to do blow <laughs> when I would drink. <laughs> He's violated, bro. He's violated. <laughs> Where are you finished? This is the cracky bit, bro. My husband is Indian. <laughs> <laughs> Good, good. He's trying to set you straight as he should be. Fucking drug addict. <laughs> My husband is Indian and he wouldn't allow that, so I stopped five years ago. Oh, because he, yeah, because he was because Indian. Because he was Indian, bro. That's the only reason she stopped. Let's go. Run. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, still, it's still going, bro. It's still going. And go while on, go I was on. laying there breathing, I thought, what was that? He went back to bed shortly after, and when when he came back out, he said in a very unbothered tone, So why were you choking? I started to feel very uncomfortable because of the way he said that. It carries on, but that's it in a nutshell, essentially. Wait, so hold on, hold on. So she, she's eating bread, she trips over something, gets yeah, yeah. lodged in the back of her throat, thinks she's she going to die. Up. She tripped when she picked her baby up. Oh, okay, fine. 
yeah. she thinks she's gonna die she's choking yeah Gagging, foaming at the mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. The whole taking te- she's taking, taking tetanus shots. <laughs> Everything, while this is bro. Every yeah, whole yeah. shebang. Then <laughs> she vomits, throws up. Yeah. Her she... husband then sees her. He's just says, like, yeah. "What the hell's wrong with you, you drug addict?" Drug addict yeah. goes yeah. back to bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he goes All back while to bed. she's on the floor with yak everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. After after gagging and coughing for a while. <laughs> <laughs> and then comes back out. Says, comes back out. Comes back out. Says, and, why are you still uh, on the floor? He's like, so why were you choking, bruv? What were you doing, right, in it? I, I got something to say. <laughs> yeah, I on. genuinely think she started to choke to start a fucking argument. Because why did Whoa. you not yak it up? Why did you not yak it up before he came into the room, bitch? Yeah? <laughs> you could have spat that bitch out before he came in and no one would have called you a drug addict. You would have been fine. <laughs> But instead, you start to choke and spit it out mm. when he walks in. Victim you just shaming. want to start an argument. Is it exactly? Shaming. Hold yeah, that, you crackhead, you nitty. <laughs> Hold it. Hold it. In fact, choke again. <laughs> um, Eat more so bread. Let me let me read. Yeah, by the way, this all started because of bread, which is the funniest bit. Let me read some of these comments. Right. Um, pretty pretty fair questions. Why are you even married to someone who is so much cont- as who is so much contempt towards you? <laughs> uh, another one, another one. Because he's <laughs> Indian, he probably and, makes bread. Yes, <laughs> in a trailer, oh, I like that. <laughs> in a, Fuck, get a yard, G. Why are you in a shed? <laughs> no, Fuck, why are they in a trailer? I don't know why. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Take the kids and run. It's possible he didn't hear you, but his reaction afterwards is wild. Effing yeah, drug addicts. Fucked. It is fucked. But I with the Indian. <laughs> 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 I'll stop, I'll stop. That was the last one. I'll stop. Okay. Anyway, yeah, I was just joking. This went from real, of real advice to like satire. Of course. Uh, I thought it'd leave off with a bit of a banger. Damn. Um, that was much yeah. better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> it was only like three minutes though. I was laughing the whole time. I should have probably said that. What, way what are some of the other? What are some of the other comments? What were people uh, saying? They're already? pretty much unanimous. They're all a bunch of pussies, man. Telling it to leave, man. They should just shut up, bruv. <laughs> What do they know? What do they know? You can't get better than that type of relationship in a trailer with an Indian that hates you and thinks you're a drug addict. (laughs) Yeah, bro, honestly. Honestly, I blame the Indian, bro. If you hated her, why do you have kids with her? Of course, you blame the Indian. (laughs) So, anyway, what what do you you guys think? Do you think she's entitled? Do you think she's entitled? Yeah. (laughs) Some actual advice, I think. It's mad that you said you're a drug addict when, mm. to be fair, the guy had just woken up in it. But even then, even then, to call you a drug addict, <laughs> to call you a drug addict, I was just yacked in front of him from choking on bed is mental. No, the, the, mad, the maddest thing is, if you, okay, it, I don't care what your relationship dynamic is. If you wake up and your partner is on the floor with vomit <laughs> everywhere and yeah. is physically out of breath, yeah, yeah, and foaming, the first thing you, foaming. the first thing you and do like, oh, is, oh, yeah, oh, exactly. Oh, oh. At the mouth. She's just like the making those noises hold, for five minutes. Hold, do that, do that again. Uh, do that. This is my classic. My cat, go my <laughs> oh my god! Donald the Duck. Out that's here. my Donald Duck, bro. That's my Donald Duck. That. <laughs> if that, if that's your first reaction, right, is to say, stop being a drug addict. There are serious problems with your relationship. 100%, yeah, can, can I just say, there's so many holes in this, right? She's clearly like reaching, like. Because the final sentence is, am I crazy for thinking he heard me or should I be taking my kids and running, right? Even if he didn't hear you choke, even if he didn't, let's give him the benefit of the doubt, right? He didn't hear her choke. <coughs> he comes out. He sees vomit. You're right. He sees vomit. She's foaming at the mouth and he's just like, effing druggy," and goes back to sleep, bro. Fuck. <laughs> like, what's Fuck. the defense for that? What's the defense for that? Especially there's kids in this environment. She said she picked up her kids, so... That's, 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 that's either a horrendous relationship and he's a bad dude or there's there's three options or second option this is a weekly occurrence and he's fed up of her shit mm. <laughs> or completely fake story now, yeah. now let me let me let me now nah, now nah, we listen i'm only the one to say it's a fake story let's not go there because it's too hilarious okay don't <laughs> choke on bread right literally <laughs> slip in a shower bro choke on rice ting so, so... Oh, she's indian He's Indian. Chicken He's Indian, chicken. not her. Yeah, choke We all right. know what she is. <laughs> um, <laughs> we know that because Indians Indians don't get with... We all know what Indians' favorite kind of race is, isn't it? Yeah, Pakistanis. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Pakistanis. Pajabis. Um, 
No, what I was going to actually say is the alternative. And uh, listen, I don't want to be the baddie here, but somebody has to address the elephant in the room. And I'm not talking the, about the Indian the woman. or her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about either of them because I don't know their BMI, okay? What are the odds she is actually back on the blow? Bro, she is the elephant in the room. She's <laughs> yeah, she's snorting. She's indeed snorting, she's brother. Snorting, G. What what are the odds she's back on the blow? And that's why he's just like, ugh, drug addict. Yeah, maybe <laughs> she was foaming at the mouth for Listen, another not reason to, not, altogether. Not to defend an Indian, because you know I'm not gonna be caught dead doing that. Oh <laughs> You gotta teach you gotta teach your kids early, innit? That's what it is. So exactly. That's what she's doing. This is why you don't lie to your parents because you could end up like the, these people. That's what happens. First, you lie to your parents, and next, you're choking on bread in a trailer. In yeah. a trailer. I would yeah. love to know how you got from that to that. No, nah, I don't. Please, I'll, please I'll, please I'll bust that roadmap. I'll bust that roadmap. If, <laughs> I can, I can, enough... I, can fig- I can figure it out. Yeah, you can figure yeah. out. If there's enough uh, comments uh, and like some tips, fans, I'll indeed I'll do a presentation. Yeah. I could tips, do one right give now. Us, give us some tips. It's so simple. It's so simple. One line, bro. Go Bruh, on, let me know if go you on, want this. Let me just, let, 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 yeah. 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 Go on, give yeah, us a yeah. visual Shum demonstration right now. All right, cool. What's the next uh, stage? Mom, I'm going to Massam's house. Find the nitty, do crack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's already there. done. Yeah. He's, he's where's, so, where's the kid? Yeah, then? no, don't question it. Where's it's the kid? Done. Where's the kid? Uh, yeah, I yeah, get addicted to a crack. Fuck the nitty. <laughs> have a baby. <laughs> yeah, I'm listening. I'm listening. Choke or I sleep in the shower. Yeah. You're fine, brother. I'm telling you. Do you know what? I think Adds we need up. to end this uh, cracking piece of advice. <laughs> Call us out, Jay. No. And I don't I... mean for our advice. <laughs> You're an idiot. No. You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> Call us out. That was the biggest insult of all, bro. Is it? <laughs> none, none of us are Indians. So I don't know who you're yeah, talking about. Hey, I am. You, you know what I said? I said this earlier. So you know when not... you do the forms, right? You know when you do forms and you like tick off like British Pakistani, British Indian, you know? When I do that, I, I do, I tick off British Pakistani, but I cross out the P- Pakistani bit, bro. <laughs> well, I just tick British then. <laughs> oh, character, they know, character. They character. know, they know, innit? They know, they know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> say no more, say no more. Well, mine is to do with something that we've all done. We've all been to uni. Uh, we will know who of people that have been to uni and um, I don't know about you but a lot of people that have come back home after they've been to uni and experienced that lifestyle being out there like you know with the freedom of just being out there living on your own and this that the other they when they wild. come back home yeah when they go wild they come back home and they find it hard to integrate back into like a family lifestyle <laughs> you're speaking about it as if it's prison I mean they it find can it hard be for to some people right? It can be for some people. <laughs> I mean, that's my point. That's my point. It can be for some people because the household is very different to the freedom that you get at uni. So, um, yeah, I guess like my question to you guys is what advice would you give to people that are struggling to find it hard, that are struggling to get back home after being in that situation? Why are you laughing? Because you've asked the two guys who stayed at home during uni, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. You've asked the two guys who went to the same yeah. uni, who both stayed in the same, oh, same shit. yard. I'm not saying yeah, you're right. Masam, when you, Masam, you've been to two universities. When you stayed out <laughs> in neither of those times, how was yeah. it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I've got so much advice about how, how it was to climatize back home. <laughs> so much advice right now. I, I totally forgot you lot of fucking, you didn't leave. <laughs> You we, never left. Neither did Hamza, brother. It was only you. Oh my god! I am... You're asking the complete wrong set of individuals. You that could is... not get further away. Uh, yeah. Let me think. Let me think. And let me let me chat my ass in it. Let me. Let me yeah, you might answer. as well make something up in it. Someone can still understand and hear something from you, lot. So. Um, I would say set boundaries at home. It depends on the environment. Okay, what is causing you to feel like you're an inmate? In H- mm. uh, <laughs> what's the closest prison? Slough, Reading. Probably Slough, isn't it? There must be. A Is there a prison? Well, I don't know. I don't know. Some sort of jail or something. I don't think Slough got the facilities of that, bro. I don't think you think, <laughs> you think Slough Council is bucking that on taxpayer money. It's got to be a cell at least, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's got to be a cell. They got, they got a holding cell in the magistrate's court, bro. That's about <laughs> as far as they got. I'm t- I'm pretty sure it's Reading. If I was to guess, oh, okay. there's there's Heathrow detention center. 
Oh, piss off Heathrow, bro. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the whole slough claimed fame, bro. Heathrow. <laughs> um, yeah, I would say, depending on what their situations are, there's so many multitude like rules. <laughs> but we'll just say that they feel like there's too much. Um, this is typical space thing, in it? Yeah. We can imagine it's a typical space thing. They like their freedom. So, one, I think uh, you need to set your ground rules. It's so hard to tell your parents yes or no, though, isn't it? <laughs> this is the problem. That is true, this yeah. Is, this is the problem. It depends on the kind of environment. If you're the kind of individual that you're, like, going balls to the walls because you're in uni, and uh, maybe literally, <laughs> depends, <laughs> right? But, like, if you're doing that, that those tend to be people who are, like, very... Um, uh, confined at home in it so naturally it's also hard to tell your parents those situations yes or no it's a yeah. sticky one i can't i don't really know most people i know that lived out at uni and loved it because of its freedom they couldn't they're like they, they just wouldn't go back home they just mm. they find find a shared accommodation right and just <laughs> house share with a bunch of other people that's what everyone does pretty much yeah right? if you really can't get back into it that's what people do and people like that because then you have your own freedom you can still go see family on whatever weekends or whatever it is but yeah if yeah. it's if it's really difficult for you if the contrast in your freedom is that stark then there's no real downside to sharing with other people besides the financial cost of having to pay rent yeah yeah i'd agree i think same with same as what with my son said set boundaries set healthy boundaries because you come back after three years three to five whatever however why long you you're out us, there for it? why didn't you tell us your experience i mean thankfully my experience was um as i grew while i was at uni my parents were growing and understanding how like i was growing too so when they came back they gave me my space and it was a lot easier for me i was very lucky in that sense that it was a lot easier for me to integrate back as long as you feel i feel like as long as you follow certain house rules <clears throat> like as long as you don't take the piss it's still your parents house at the end of the day and you're still doing what you need to do and contribute to the house however you contribute, I feel like your parents, you know, should meet you halfway and do their best to understand your perspective too. Um, but I know a lot of other people don't have it as as easy and struggle a lot more. So, yeah, I mean, just boundaries, I guess. You know what I say? I say stop crying, bruv. Get over yourself. Good, Good one. <laughs> that's, what's that's... the what's the thing that people struggle with most the, the strict rules the invasiveness of personal space what is I, it? I think it's one of the same isn't it i would group them within the same thing i think it's just clingy parents i just generalize with clingy parents that's what i think naturally because i mean when people say oh, i have no freedom at home they're talking about clingy parents i don't know what else they're referring to no like, I everyone's got responsibilities it's... even if you're living yeah. if you're living out in like uni accommodation you still got to do chores in the day in it you can't look you can't live like a bum some people you got to do. clean up some, some people, people do yeah. and they're degenerates to be fair they're degenerates. Yeah, it's, it's true it's literally true but i think yeah i think personal space is an issue because i know a lot of people that had freedom at home like they were they were doing they had more freedom than i did that's for sure but they moved back home and they were struggling because of the personal space was the issue where it's like you know you can't go mm. you can't go downstairs without seeing <laughs> your family <laughs> but uh, it sounds shit to say but sometimes you know it's at uni it's just so easy to disappear back into your room and not have to deal with anyone um but yeah i mean i think that's, that's part of a bigger bigger problem with individuals i'll be honest bro if you're feeling like uncomfortable to leave your room and go downstairs then there's other issues at hand maybe i think like uh, leaving at home is just essentially covering you know you're putting the you're doing the um uh what the, what's it called band-aid band-aid which funny enough quick tangent band-aid i don't know if you saw that apparently causes cancer mad yeah they as in a plaster cause, yeah because they've got some dangerous chemicals and it seeps into your blood apparently there's no case about that i don't know at the specific i think it's johnson johnson's band-aids but <laughs> anyway back <laughs> on point back on point I think it's just a way larger problem and they need to confront other issues, I think. It definitely is, but yeah. Do you think it's worse for um, girls than it is for guys? Uh, it depends, and If they're Asian household, probably. That's a good question, you know. I think, like, percentage-wise, Asian household for sure. 
more than the guys. Girls to guys. Yeah, it depends. definitely depends on ethnicity, like where you're from. Because, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Asian <laughs> Asian guys get a lot more feeling than a strict Asian household where women women live and reside also. Yeah, um, I think guys get more freedom in general. Mm-hmm. In general, when it comes to home life, you could do more, you could stay out later, all that yeah. type of stuff. True, true. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. But yeah, that's, that's, yeah. I just thought people might be listening who from uni. Um, I want Neha to listen to this. Uh, Does she? Is she going to listen? <laughs> she never know, bro. She she clicks in here and there, and I think. Fair enough. Uh, she, she'll she be like, oh, I saw this the other day. I thought that was funny. But. All yeah. right, let me let me pose another question then. So let's say you, you reintegrate back into society, right? <laughs> <laughs> rehab. Uh, yeah, you rehab. <laughs> And it's still a strict setting. You, you definitely don't feel like you have as much freedom as you did at uni, which is 99% of the time going to be the case. Do you think it's okay to lie to your parents so you can have more freedom and do what you want? Nah, bro. I don't think... It's funny. We've had this discussion before about lying. And I was like, yeah, you can lie when it comes to like <laughs> You don't want to hurt someone's feelings, right? I to an that. extent. To an extent, right? Classic story, if your kid goes, oh, this, uh, you wouldn't just call your kid clapped, didn't you, even if they're ugly, <laughs> right? But uh, I'm quoting somebody, by the way. If somebody knows, leave it in the comments section below. Um, shout out tips, by the way. Shout out tips. I'm hearing it's, I'm hearing <laughs> the, the word tips is uh, starting to circulate. It is. I'm, I'm, it is. I'm hearing it's becoming a popular um, pseudonym. Anyway, uh, what was the question? <laughs> Brother, I'm you so keep doing bad. it, bro. You keep tangent in yourself. I like I this thinking... more. <laughs> yeah. No, no, what, what was the question? You what know was the question? question? Oh, my God. <laughs> what was day. the question? <laughs> I got okay distracted to by the tips, your parents. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was it. That was it. Uh, yeah, hell yeah, bruv. No, I'm joking. No. <laughs> I turned this no. shit off, man. No, no, no. It's all right. The 10 minutes in it. I've, I've seen the retention times, bro. People have clicked off by now. Oh, you say uh, this every time, bro. It's no, Hamza says you're it. Doing. Hamza it's says all it. of you. Yes, you shouldn't lie to your parents because really you're just lying to yourself at that point. If you lie to your parents, it's always going to create that like unnatural hurdle, which eventually will just build and build and build and then it becomes a mountain. So, no, I don't think so. Set the ground rules immediately. The more like um, firm you are, because you have to be cer- firm in certain situations, naturally, because they're going to be hesitant, the better it is in the future and in the present. I think it depends on how deep the lie is, because mm-hmm. I agree with my Sam. I think boundaries are so much more important. Um, <laughs> yeah, why do you say time... that, Hoshu? <laughs> why do you say that? What? Uh, about nothing, just carry on. Wait, I didn't get it. I actually didn't get it. What do you mean? Jay's creasing. Jay knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, we all know what he's talking about. Just carry yeah, on. Yeah, just carry I on. I actually have no clue what you're talking about, bro. Uh, Jay, what you, why don't you say look, what he's talking about? <clears throat> why are you saying it's good not to lie? <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. I didn't say it's good not to lie. I said, I said, I said you should, in certain situations, I feel like it's okay to lie. As long as it's not too deep. Like, if it's like, oh, What's I'm going level? out to fucking London... For? At yeah. three in the morning, but in fact, I've told my parents that I've stayed at this. I can't lie to you. At this age, you shouldn't be doing it. That's why I feel like boundaries are more important than the lights. But yeah. if you're out in London and suddenly you get like robbed or stabbed or something like that, but your parents think you're like at your friend's house, then it's long. But if it's like, oh, I'm going to the park for a couple of hours, which I used to do all the fucking time at my time, I'd be like, oh, I'm going, I'm going shops or something to get some chocolate, blah blah. Have a kick about this that. But in fact, I've gone to go see someone else. You know what I'm saying? Like. Then it's not too bad. But if it's like you're staying overnight, you know, all these kind of things, it could be a bit sticky. Like I feel like there's another there's a lot of opportunities for when things can go wrong and your parents would rather be in the know how or you know, the know of. Um but yeah, that's just my opinion on it. I don't know. Thanks for watching <laughs> another episode of A Typical Advice. Um we hope you like this one. Uh, some funny stories and some terrible advice as always. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, all that good stuff.